Hey guys, Pogosick29 here, and welcome to episode number, uh, what is it, 51 of Bucket Coding. In this video, I am going to teach you guys how to make custom maps. Basically, what that will do is you can give someone a map with uh, custom information written on it. Uh, I've gone ahead and taken the Join Book plugin and changed it to Join Info, because now we're going to give them a book and we're going to give them a map. So, uh, you know, both can have the same information pretty much on them, but, uh, you know, but this is it's just another way. So I figured, why not put the two in the same plugin? Again, all these videos are just examples, and you can implement it however you want. So, let's go ahead and say, at event handler, public void on map initialize, and this is a map initialize event e. I think I spelled that right. Yes. And basically, this event is called whenever a map is initialized. So uh, first, we can go ahead and say the first thing that we're going to want to do is say for map renderer mr e dot get map dot get renderers e.getMap.RemoveRenderer.MR Now what this is doing is a map renderer is basically um, a class, it's something that handles rendering the map. So what we're doing is we're removing everything because we want our map to be custom. So we're going through and we're removing every single renderer so that, you know, it doesn't do it itself, we take care of it. Then we can go ahead and say e.getMap.AddRenderer New map renderer, colon, semicolon there. And a new thing I learned is actually, I didn't even know this, but if you hit control space, it will actually show you all of the uh, different methods that you can, that are, uh, and, you know, inherited from super classes and whatever. So I did not know that. But uh, you can go ahead and easily do that because we need our render and this is going to take a map view which we'll call view a map canvas which we will call canvas and a player which we will call p alright so at this point we can now go ahead and start doing some stuff with our render so let's go ahead and first say canvas you're going to want to call uh, in the can in the map canvas class there are a lot of interesting things you can do. And the two that we are interested in are draw image and draw text. Basically, you can, you know, draw images and draw text to the uh you to the uh map. So let's go ahead and first we'll draw our text saying uh first you, you want to choose the x and the y point. So let's say at zero zero or no, let's say it uh, 29 comma 29, so 29 pixels down, 29 pixels across. We will draw with I think it wanted a map font dot character sprite. Now, I believe it wants a uh, new map font. Yes, I I believe I believe that that is what we need to do might be uh... Let's see if that does not work then i will fix it and then finally the text that you actually want to have so we will say pogo stick twenty nine dev and above that let's go ahead and draw our image so actually we're going to do dot draw image at zero zero and now it wants an image. So what we're going to type is new image icon. This dot. Oh no, sorry. Uh, get. Sorry. Join info dot this dot get data folder dot. Uh, sorry. Dot get path plus slash uh, avatar dot png. So what we're and go ahead and Im import image icon. So what we're doing is we are creating 
an image and then do dot get image sorry so what we're doing is we're creating this image icon class and we're basically it we're initializing it with a uh, with a path to an to an image so we're going we're getting the data folder path and then we're using avatar.png so this is basically in the plugins folder then in the join info folder you would uh, put a, a an image file called avatar.png and it will show up now that's one way to do it but I believe that there is another way to do it and you can say uh, join info dot class dot get class loader dot get resource slash uh, avatar dot png I'm not sure I think it's dot get class dot get class loader dot get resource. Let me just check on that for one second. So just remove get class, and that should be good. And then what we're doing is what we're gonna do is up here we're going to make a new I believe it's a source folder, and we're going to type res. Now res means resources, and when you get into more like uh, coding things. Uh, you know, the res folder, like the SRC is for source, bin is for, uh, you know, exported, like, bytecode, res is for resources. So then let's go ahead and copy our avatar file. That That's my, you know, YouTube avatar. And I believe we need to do res slash avatar.png. So that should have it built in so you don't need to get it externally. Now, finally, we should be able to say e dot get player dot get inventory dot add item new item stack material dot map one, and that should add the map. And then when the map goes to be initialized, then it should have the player. All right. So that should be good, and uh, just one other thing to point out, the render method does take a player, so you can do things with the player. Basically, whenever the map is rendered, you can also get information about the player, like, you know, their name, if you wanted to customize the information given, or, you know, whatever you wanted to do, basically. All right, so this should work, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and export our join info plugin. And now let's go ahead and give it a try. And since I forgot to mention, I am using ScreenFlow right now because Camtasia did not export in HD and there was an audio sync issue. I sincerely apologize for that. So I'm going to switch back to ScreenFlow at least until I can figure out how to use Camtasia better. Uh, let's see if this plugin will start up or not. Looks like it starts up fine. So that's a good sign. Let's see if uh, it will render the map properly. Alright. So now let's go ahead and join localhost. Ah, we had an internal server. Okay. So... Let's see what happened. Ah, I see. So we had a null pointer exception at the when we tried to render, and the image icon was a null pointer exception. Okay, let me pause the video and see what's wrong. Back. That took a little while to figure out. I think that there were a few things that were wrong with it, but as you can see, it is now rendering the image. Now the image is a bit, uh, it's, it seems like the image itself is a bit too big. Where did I go? It seems like the image itself is a bit too big, but, uh, I guess you just have to resize it yourself. I did try, when you do get image, you can do get scaled instance, so I tried doing it, like, let's say we do it for a hundred and a hundred. I don't know what this last variable means, so I set it for one. But I believe that the problem with it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of messed up right now. Hang on one second. Alright, 
so now when I join, I take my empty map and I go to run it. See, I don't know why it does that. It, it disconnects me with an error. And the other strange thing about Java is now, see, I have this, like, this Java thing called main. It's called whenever I do this. I believe it's because the new Java, Java 7, like, it shows hidden tasks in the menu bar like that. I don't know why it does, but that's the best I can do right now. It, I, it may be a bug, I'm not sure. And the other thing is, at point twenty nine twenty nine, it did draw Pro 629 dev, and you're supposed to use Minecraft font dot font, and not uh, whatever I said it was. I said it was like a new font, but you're that's what you're supposed to use. So that should be all that you need to know. So that is oh, and I uh, sorry, one other thing. I, I removed that res folder, and I made one inside of SRC, and then I put the avatar picture in there. I think that that also helped fix the problem. So, that is all for this video. You guys learned how to... Oh, yeah. You guys learned how to make custom maps. Uh, in the... Uh, sorry. You guys learned how to make custom maps by with uh, drawing images and text. Uh... So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. And uh, coming up on 1,000 subscribers, very exciting. And I have something very exciting planned that I'm sure that you'll all be very excited for. So, once I reach 1,000 1, subscribers, I do have something that I'm sure that you'll be interested to see. I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.